I've been very briefly through the kind of performances that filtered through on the NSE yesterday. What are you making of the current market activity we're seeing where the initial exuberance over Amcon and all the reforms in the banking sector seems to have withered away? Absolutely. Good morning, Alicia. Um, what we've seen now is that um, all the exuberance and uh, the jubilation that greeted um, the inauguration of the Amcom board seems to have petered out. Investors are now asking real questions. What is going to be the first move? Amcon has, of course, you know, um, released an initial statement on how they're going to try to value assets that they're going to take, I mean, that they're going to take um, from the rescued bands. But, I mean, the question everybody is looking at, when are the announcements um, for the various uh, mergers and acquisitions? There have been indications on the market, um, there have been um, tentative announcements, but I think um, now people want to, you know, see some of those deals, I mean, move through. And Amcon starts to implement some of the things they've said. So I think uh, generally the market is just looking um, for real action and so that that would then, of course, then boost um, results. But um, in our view, we think, um, you know, everything is actually positioned. Um, we've waited for Amcon almost all year. Um, it's finally come. And I think um, once they start to implement um, their mandate that, um, you know, you would see a very positive effect um, on the market. Well, until that comes to the fore, we've had uh, some companies in other sectors stealing attention. Uh, we've heard that Flour Mills Nigeria is set to invest in sugar. What have you made of that company's new strategy? Um, I think um, uh, Flour Mills um, is trying to grow its food um, business generally. Um, if you look at um, the food and beverage sector, uh, most of the companies there do realize that Nigeria having you know, 70% um, or so thereabouts of its population um, under 40 represents um, a very, very, very good prospect. And so a lot of um, the companies in that um, sector are actually um, focusing on expanding capacity. So um, uh, we're not terribly surprised. Um, I think uh, the capacity they're trying to put in place is some, somewhere around 750 uh, um, tons to be able to, um, you know, go into the sugar. And they also want to backward integrate as well, which is actually quite interesting. Now, if you know flour mills as a company, they are fairly, fairly diversified, mm -hmm. um, which makes it um, rather strong. Um, so they're already in, um, in the flour milling. They do quite a bit of pasta. Uh, they do uh, cement. They do packaging. Uh, they have all age. But generally, it's to support the various aspects of their business. Yeah. And it does make it a very diversified play. Well, to venture down this new path, we've got the company planning a 35 billion naira bond issue to fund that expansion. Viable in the current market where uh, uh, we seem to have been seeing attention shifting back to equities at this stage. Um, well, I think for the company, um, the timing is becoming a bit tricky. Um, and we expect or we suspect that um, it's scaling some of the regulatory hurdles with the Securities and Exchange Commission that has deli um, delayed uh, that um, bond issue. They are trying to raise 35 billion, as you mentioned, in the first tranche. Um, 20 billion of that amount is supposed to um, restructure uh, short term loans and, you know, just sort of um, extended duration. Um, but what we've seen is that um, from the announcement of that, um, of that, um, capital raising exercise, we've seen yield pick up um, um, aggressively uh, from somewhere around, um, you would say, the last issue that was done was um, by um, UPDC and, you know, that came in at 10 when general interest rates were somewhere around, you know, 6 and 7, which was attractive. But now um, yields are somewhere around... Um, you know, 13, 14, when you look at um, the government bonds. So I think it's becoming tricky on how they will actually price that. And if you're trying to restructure expensive short-term loans, um, you don't want to go into, um, you know, a long-term bond that will also be ex um, mm. expensive. And um, for what we know, they're trying to raise um, a five-year um, bond. So I think it's a tricky one for the management, especially with the delays they've been having um, with uh, the regulatory authorities.